What is up everybody, Yvonne here. Now, are you guys tired of following up with your guys' leads over and over, seeing the exact same thing every single time? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys on how to automate many different parts of your guys' business within Go High Level, and that way, a lot of the manual work is gonna be done for you. We're gonna learn on how to set up triggers, send automating messages, or even create workflows, and that way, every single part of your guys' plan is gonna be done for you. And it doesn't matter what kind of business you guys are in, whether you guys are in real estate or coaching, or you guys have your own digital marketing agency, these automation tasks tactics can save you guys so much time and energy. So let's go ahead and dive right in to see how you guys can use it for your own business. And now once you guys are in the platform, the main place where you're going to be spending the most amount of time in is going to be the automation tool right over here. And once we click on it, the workflow tool is going to be the thing that's going to make the magic happen. Now let's talk about a fictional character. Let's say we have Sarah and Sarah is a real estate agent. Sarah gets folks coming in through many different alleys. She has people that call her, fill out the form on her website, or even social media where people are actually interacting with her posts. All of that adds to her workload and we don't want any leads slipping through the cracks because if we're selling a house, those things go for hundreds of thousands of dollars. So one lead can be a huge missed opportunity. So let's go ahead and go step by step on how high level can help her out. And in order for us to understand the whole picture here, let's go ahead and create one from scratch. Now let's go ahead and first figure out what Sarah's goals are. So the very first thing is going to be automating your guys' appointment confirmations. So for example, if somebody wants to meet and they sent you guys a text or somebody's reaching out through social media or filling out a form or booking an appointment on the website or or through Calendly, we want to know that and we want to have everything be connected to one centralized location. That is going to be one of our main goals because as I said before, we don't want any leads to be slipping through the cracks there. Now, after that, once someone becomes our client or their lead already in our funnel, what is going to happen after? How we're actively nurturing them to make sure that they're actively engaged and they're thinking of us, even if they're not ready to buy the house just yet. All those things are important because real estate agents work with so many different people and we never really know when they're ready to move forward on purchasing a property. So those are going to be two of our main goals that Sarah wants to do. Now, the question is, how do we do it? So let's first set up a trigger. And now what I mean by trigger is, so think of it as like if then logic. So if something happens, then X, Y, and Z are going to follow. So if somebody books an appointment or fills out a form or reaches out on social media, then X, Y, and Z is going to occur. So in this case, to keep things simple, let's go ahead and have appointment, customer booked appointment, and boom, we're going to be ready to rock here. That is going to be the very first trigger that's going to activate everything. And if you guys want to go further, you can also also have a form submission be here. So those are going to be our two triggers here. There's going to be the customer booked an appointment and the form submitted. But if you guys want something else, right, like somebody commenting on your guys' post or anything of that nature, all you got to do is just add new trigger, go to social and check it out. Facebook and Instagram, if someone comments on a post, I don't have my Facebook or Instagram connected. But if you guys do, you can go ahead and have that be one of the triggers here. So what happens next? Usually a lot of real estate agents, they're communicating by phone, right? Like email is great and all, but let's get real. Most people are responding to the text message much faster than an email. So from here, let's go ahead and have SMS. SMS is going to be automatically sent out. And from here, and the SMS is going to say this, hi. And the coolest part about high level is that we can actually borrow the information inside of the CRM and put them into this message right over here. Here's what I mean by this. Inside of the CRM, there's going to be a lot of information about you guys' as clients. We can go ahead and put their favorite color. We can go ahead and put their email. We can go ahead and put their name, the very basic stuff. So from here, these custom values, we can go ahead and scroll here and and with contact, it'll say hi, full name, right? So in my case, it will be hi, Yvonne Brzezinko. Excited to see you at our house tour at 1118 Rodeo Drive. Boom, and there you guys have it. So if we're working with a property on 1118 Rodeo Drive, every single time someone books an appointment to see it or a form is submitted, an SMS is going to be sent out by saying hi, and then their full name, excited to see you at our house tour at 1118 Rodeo Drive. Let's save this action. So every single time, time something like that happens, this workflow is going to run. And if you guys want to get fancier within your guys' form or you guys' website booking, you can also go ahead and insert that date and the time of their appointment. And that way, the text message that they're getting is going to be highly personalized to them. Now, let's say there's going to be a little bit of time between the appointment. All we got to do is just press the plus button here, press wait. And now we're going to have a little buffer there. Let's say it's going to be one day. We're just going to wait because we don't want to bother them before the appointment. So let's go ahead and save this action. And boom, as you guys see, there is going to be a one day wait. However, read the fine print here as well, because it's going to hold a contact for a specific time until a condition exists or until the contact replies. And the reason why you want to read these rules is that you can go ahead and modify them so they fit your guys' business the best. Because from here, if they don't reply, we can send them another text message, we can send them an email or another reminder to even call them. But you guys get the point. So pretty much every single time someone books an appointment with us or submits a form, we're going to send an SMS, we're going to wait a little bit. And from there, we can send an email, have a task to call them. But no matter what, they're going to show up to that appointment. So let's go 
go ahead and name this workflow Sarah's customer follow-up. Cool, let's go ahead and press save. And before you guys do anything, I highly suggest to make sure that you guys' workflow works. So make sure to test it before you publish it and make it live. But let's go ahead and create another one. So again, we're Sarah, we're a real estate agent. What do we do next? Outside of just confirming our appointment, we wanna make sure that each one of our clients gets that automated text message delivered to them that is gonna be highly personalized and it doesn't look like it came from a robot. That's really important because I know you guys get a ton of spam like in text messages every single day where it just says hello or hi there or hi Yvonne are you interested in blah 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 property right I see the thought there however they can do a lot better so we want to make sure that every single time a lead comes in a personalized text message is going to be delivered to them and from there once that text message has been delivered we can go ahead and nurture that prospect more and more in the future because for example if they're not ready to buy the house right now maybe in two months three months they're going to be ready to go so from here on again the triggers can be all sorts of things but we're just going to keep it simple let's make it a form submission so form has been submitted and once a form has been submitted we're going to send an sms just like we did last time and this is what the sms is going to say it's going to say hey contact first name thanks for reaching out i'm sarah a local real estate agent let me know how i can assist you with your property search and boom it's going to send that text message and if you guys want to see like about individual stats for every single workflow it's pretty straightforward all you got to do is just go to stats view and you can actually see on how many text messages were delivered clicked on or even failed to deliver so make sure to not overlook this part because we want to follow the whole customer journey here and if somebody falls off at any moment of it we're going to catch that and double down on what is working and throw away what is not and from here let's say folks don't respond to your text message or they're just tired of having a conversation with you we want to keep nurturing them and giving something of value specifically for them so let's go ahead and press the plus button here and we're going to send an email send email and this is going to be the message over email hi contact first name so hi sarah um, or hi whoever we're talking to thanks for contacting me here's a list of the top properties i think you love feel free to ask any questions we can go ahead and put an attachment to it or even send a test email which i highly recommend you guys to do subject line is going to be contact first name welcome let's go ahead and save this action now keep in mind we can go ahead and have a specific filter on who gets these things based on what form is being filled out or what like properties within a form are being filled out in order to access that all we got to do is just press on the form here add more filters and from here on we can go ahead and control what those filters are and from there on, that's going to act as like if then logic based on what we're looking to achieve. And if you guys want to add that specific branch, like if then thing, like for example, if somebody filled out a form and said X, Y, and Z, they're going to get something and they filled out a whole different thing. They're going to get something else. All we got to do is just press the plus button here. We just add if else and boom, there's going to be different scenarios. Like for example, let's go ahead and have it to be around contact details. Let's say the full name is going to be Yvonne Brzezinko, which is my name. Then something's going to happen. And if it's not going to be then another thing is going to happen but we can go ahead and have this be an and quality so if their name is Ivan Brzezinko and something else or we can have it be if their name is Ivan Brzezinko or is John Smith and then there can be another task let's keep it nice and simple there's going to be two conditions here if their name is Ivan Brzezinko and if their name is not because none of the conditions are met so let's go ahead and save this action so now we have two different categories for folks that are going to be named Ivan Brzezinko which is my name they're going to get an sms or an email but for folks that are not named that they're currently not going to get anything but we can go ahead and add different steps to them from here on and again the reason why i'm showing you this is because let's say somebody in a forum filled out that they're interested in properties in new mexico we can only send them things that are going to be relevant to new mexico and those things are going to be probably a little different than properties in arizona properties in alaska or new york again the same thing can apply to budget what they're looking for what kind of property how many bedrooms school no school you guys get the point and that's how we're going to be nurturing our clients every single part of the way because from there on we can go ahead and send them specific things that they care about and we can go ahead and just add those like waiting periods so it can be three months four months 10 days one week or whatever it is and we can go ahead and send them an email or an sms based on whatever they're interested in so let's go ahead and save that and we're going to go ahead and create a third workflow for sarah let's go back here start from scratch you guys already know the drill we're going to go ahead and create a third workflow and the third workflow is going to be around you guys's pipeline and when i say pipeline for sarah it's going to be folks that are actively looking to purchase a home so for example, in Go High Level Words, it's going to be based around an opportunity. So for example, let's say if an opportunity is created, that means that the person is ready to go on their property search. So that is going to be the very first part of our workflow, and we're going to set that as our trigger. Now, once the opportunity is created, depending on how many properties you're working with, because again, there can be a lot, or there can be only like five, but if there's five, it's a lot more manageable to keep up with. But again, if you guys are a small business or you're like investing a lot into Facebook and Google ads, you guys can get a lot of traffic really quick. So setting up these 
reminders is going to be key. So if I were you guys and a new opportunity is created, that means like it's going to be a new deal. Someone's ready to talk business. I can't miss this. So what I would do here is just press the plus button one more time at a reminder here, and it's going to be a manual action for us to call. And that way we're going to be reminded every single time to actually give them a call. And that way nothing slips through the cracks here. So let's go ahead and have that here. And after we're going to wait for, let's say a day, we're going to go ahead and add a tag to their account. And it can be something basic like called. And that way we're going to know that the way I can actually engage with them. And once we've completed that manual task of calling them a day later, we're going to go ahead and add a tag that we've called them. And from there on, we can further engage with them and make sure that we're constantly keeping contact with our leads. So let's go ahead and press save on that tag here. And now all the contacts that we've actively called, they're going to have that specific tag label next to it. So from there on, you can go ahead and filter by those specific individuals. And after, if an opportunity goes through a different stage, we can go ahead and also modify or create a different opportunity on top of it. If we go ahead and click on it, we just got to make sure that our pipelines are set up and different opportunities are there in place. I currently don't have it as this is a demo account, but you guys get the point. If something happens to that specific opportunity, whether they visited the property or they actually liked the property, they got the contract, so on and so forth, we can go ahead and have that property be completely changed within high level. And that way that thing is automatically done for you guys. Because at the end of the day, we want you guys to be doing your own real estate thing or whatever else you're doing and not be sitting and fidgeting with you guys' CRM all day. So one more time, and I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but once you guys are ready to rock here and you guys have finished your guys' workflow, all you got to do is make sure to test it before you make anything public. And once you guys are ready to go, all you need to do is press publish, save, and boom, you guys are ready. And if you guys want to see further performance on your guys' workflows, all you got to do is just go to the tab right over here to see stats. And from here on, you can see all the different stats associated with each one of you guys' steps. The stats option is most commonly used with SMS and emails because from there on, we can actually see on who's interacting with it, who's opening it, and who is not. But if you guys want to see further on how you guys' workflows are doing, all you got to do is just go back here to workflows, press reporting. And again, this is just dummy data here. But once you guys have your whole system set up, make sure you customize it to however you guys want it. And from there on, you can see specific things when it comes to workflows. Awesome. And there you folks have it. So if you guys want to try out the platform for yourself, the link for it is going to be down below in the description. Once you guys click on the link, all you got to do is just press the 14 day free trial, enter you guys' company name. Let's go ahead and have a test company, full name, Yvonne Brzezinko, and the email address you guys want to use. And boom. And once you guys are on the second step here, there's going to be two types of plans. There's going to be the starter plan, which is going to be at 97 bucks and the unlimited plan at 297. If you guys have a lot of sub accounts that are using, I would highly recommend the unlimited plan because it allows you guys to have limited sub accounts. And that's used a lot for agencies who manage a lot of businesses. However, if you guys are just running your own operation, I would just go ahead and stick with the starter plan because it has pretty much all the features you guys care about. So go ahead and enter you guys' card information, click these two boxes. And from there, you guys can go ahead and start your guys' free trial. And remember that nothing is going to be charged with you guys' account today. They're going to give you 14 days for free to try out the system. If you guys don't like it, it's super easy to cancel. So I wouldn't worry about it. And there you folks have it. That was a high level overview no pun intended, over the high-level platform. As you guys saw, Sarah's tasks, especially the manual ones that she has to do on a daily basis, can be done for her. Ranging from following up with clients to setting up appointments to replying to Instagram comments, there are so many different things we have to do on a daily basis and Go High Level's platform can do it all for you. And remember, if you guys want to try out the platform completely for free, the link for it is going to be below down in the description. On this channel, we make videos about different tools and platforms to help you guys start and grow your guys' business. And if you guys found this video helpful, Helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this as it tremendously helps support the channel. Till next time, peace.